Hi, this is Damon Tenen from www.mygedlive.com with the Get Your GED Now Test Preparation Series. Just finished tonight's live GED math webinar. Tonight we covered the specific skill of fractions and then the particular word problem skills. Let me just share with you a quick word problem uh, that we did tonight. Uh, just to give you a flavor of what we're doing on these webinars. Uh, the question was the Jefferson County Wolves baseball team lost 38 of their 114 games last season. What fraction of the Wolves game games did they win last season? And so I was showing those who joined us tonight our two-step method, which is identifying the question and stating your path. And I walked them through how to identify first what the question is, how to set that question up as a fraction, and then how to pull the pieces of the problem separately. Well, the problem told us they lost 38 games, and the problem told us they played 114 games. And so if you subtract 38 losses from 114 wins, from 114 games, you get 76 wins, which is what they asked the question about and explaining how on the GD test, sometimes they ask you questions about things that they don't implicitly tell you or give you in the question. And so just showing how that is one of the number one reasons that people fail on this test is that they miss that fine wording. It's not because they don't know how to subtract 138 from 114. It's not that they don't know how to re reduce this fraction 76 over 114. Some people might need help with that, but by and large, most people miss it because most people have been out of school for a while and they can be susceptible. They can be vulnerable to the wording, the fine wording of these questions. And I show you the two-step method at how to break these things down. We are going to be doing this again on Saturday. Uh, this Saturday, I think it's the 16th of February. I invite you to join us. It's a two-hour class, and we're going to be doing percents. We're going to be doing ratio and proportions, and we're going to be doing basic shape measurement. Again, stop procrastinating. This year is going to go faster than you know. This 2002 version of the test, which ends on December 31st, 2013, this test is going to end, and there's going to be a whole new set of things that you're going to have to do to get ready for the new test in 2014. So just want to encourage you, jump into these opportunities. Uh, take advantage of the, of the YouTube channel we have here, Illinomad Video. Take advantage of our website, mygedlive.com, and the practice tests are there. These are tools there for you to use. The Facebook uh, channel uh, uh, facebook.com slash GED teacher uh, our, our Twitter feed uh, get your GED now uh, at get your GED now you know use these tools they're there every day I got a vocabulary question going out on Twitter every day I got a new GED practice question going out on Facebook and then you know I have my Illinomad video channel here giving you the tools that you need to overcome and be successful there's really no reason to put this off anymore the tools are here the website is there. Jump in and get your piece of this now so you can pass this GED test and get on with the rest of your life. Again, I'm Damon Tennant from www.mygedlive, inviting you to join us on the uh, on the 16th of February. It's from 10 a.m. to noon on Saturday, that specific standard time. So if you're on the East Coast, we're starting at 1. If you're in the Midwest, we're starting at noon. If you're a mountain, we're starting at 11. And if you're out here in the West Coast with me, we're starting at 10. Hope to see you there.